have shoes on or boots or something. Is this the strip right here? Yes. This is me? Okay. Vegas, the Mirage. A really nice room. Let's check out this view. So you can't touch any of this stuff. Yeah, where's. Oh, that's Caesars right there. Awesome. Have you told Matt yet you spent $500? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, there's my wife. Kind of looks like the Bahamas. That's the trick, at least inside. So I brought up my feathered bird toy, which mimics air freight perfectly, just like a bird, and it plays into a Bengal's knee. I'm so well organized here. Yeah. <laughs> At home, everything's so scattered. I don't know where anything is, you know. Yeah. I might go look over something. Huh. Alrighty. Uh, <clears throat> you ready to get the breakfast buffet? You bet. I told Matt, I, I live here. Get me a refrigerator that's not going to cost me. <laughs> I, open it up. I can live here. Just, 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 this, this is. You gotta be able to put cash in there, huh? Sure. Nope. Oh, wait, wait, what's oh, there it? Goes. Oh, what's well, that? Well, I just took something. Oh, you got one credit. That's not be enough. Maybe you... Oh, spin the air. You don't get to... I haven't used up my credit yet. Here it goes. Oh. Yeah, I missed, you didn't win. I missed the jingle of all the money. <laughs> we didn't even know how to get it going. Is that fun? <laughs> it, did you get your dollar worth? Uh, I'll, I'll have to mark my dollar down. Oh, man. <laughs> Woo! We made it. In Vegas for the second time. So we're staying at the Mirage. I get here. We're still waiting on our room. I decide to jump in a 1-2 game for 300. Played for about an uh, hour, hour and a half. I was in a middle position with ace-7 of spades. The guy makes it 12. Three callers. Flop comes... Eight, nine, ten, two spades. So I got an open ended. The checks to me, I bet 15, two callers, six offsuit on the turn. I got a straight. I check, trying to get, get them to stab at it. They check back. River comes uh, ace of clubs, so I even hit that. Still got the straight. I bet 20, get one caller, and uh, we win. They muck. So I won $54, then the room was ready, so that was there at the Mirage. They had a couple games going, and a little $65 tourney. So um, after that, in the evening, 
I decided to go over to the Venetian because we were walking through there and it looked like they had a bunch of tables. I play two five, buy in for a thousand, which is about a sixth of my bankroll. Very first hand, under the gun plus two. Under the gun makes it 20. I look down at pocket nines. Call, one other caller, three ways to the flop. Jack nine, six. He bets 30. I call, next guy folds. Turn, nine for quads. He checks, I check. River is like a four. He checks, I bet, 150. And uh, he folds, and they're just talking about this promo for high hand. I flip over quad nines, the whole table is like, that was your first hand. It's crazy. And uh, there's 44 minutes left in the promo. And uh, I got four nines with a jack. And I'm feeling pretty good about it. Comes down, it's uh, $500, which would be awesome. Comes down the two minutes left. The table erupts. Some guy has a king high straight flush. So it's no good. Almost made it. A couple other hands. Big blind pocket sevens. Guy makes it 15. Another guy makes it 45. Gets a call. I call. Goes back around to the original, original razor. He calls. Four players to the flop. We all put in 45. Comes 399. I check, it checks around. Next card's a five. I throw out a hundred. And uh, it all folds. So that worked out well. Interesting hand. I'm on the big blind with uh, Jack eight off suit. There it folds a couple limpers. Uh, I check my option. I believe it's four of us to the flop. Only about $22 in the pot or $25 in the pot. Jack ten. Six. I throw out ten. I get two callers. Next card comes four. There's uh there's two spades out there. I throw out fifteen. Get uh get two callers. Last card's another jack. So I got three jacks, feeling pretty good. I bet twenty-five. Folds all the way around to the last guy. He makes it 70. Or he makes it 75. Cost me another 50. And I'm, I say, I, I mean, there's probably, there's no way I'm good. And uh, I call. He shows jack seven. My eight kicker plays. But it's just funny. I was about the only hand he could possibly raise with and me win. I was having him out kicked. I'm up about 200. Up and down. And I'm about ready to rack up. I have the trays. Look down at red aces, pocket aces. There's a straddle. I make it 50. Two callers. Flop comes 9, 10, 4. Checks to me. I make it uh, 75. First guy folds quickly. Second guy thinks about, get about it for a while, folds. I rack up. Um, finished up 320 bucks. That extra 500 on that high hand would have been awesome, but can't be mad about that. All right, back to the pool. and uh, see what happens so wish me luck this could be awesome or it could be a huge disaster all right I don't know how anybody plays poker for a living that was rough <laughs>
Oh, that was crazy. Down to about, uh, down to about 800, and uh, guy raises the 40. I'm in a small blind with two four spades. Flops comes three of spades, eight, ten. Checks around, four spades. Oh, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So five of spades comes on the turn. So I got an open-ended straight flush draw. Um, I bet 40. Guy to my left makes it 140. Another guy folds, comes back around to me. I call ace of spades on the river. You believe that? I check. He goes all in. I snap call. He's got king, queen of spades. What a crazy cooler. And I forgot to mention, it's Tuesday night. They say it's the worst night for poker, so probably facing a lot of regulars that are pretty good. Okay, so I'm still stacking up my chips when I look down at pocket kings. Second best hand. Um, guy makes it 40. I make it 140. He calls. There's, there's two of us. Um, flop comes 8-9 jack. Um, two clubs. I bet 220. He goes all in. It's going to cost me 255 more. Thinking hey, this guy's the ma most maniac guy at the table. Thinking he's on a cl club draw maybe. I call. Run out's pretty good. A couple low spades. And uh, he's got pocket jacks for top set. So I was right back to about even. And then now I'm back down. So uh, another hand is. Uh, Couple hands later, I see pocket queens. I make it 50. We get one caller heads up. Flop comes 8, 10, 10. And uh, I bet 40, he makes it 140. I decide to call. Ace on the turn. He bets 160. I fold. Very next, very next hand, I got pocket kings again. <clears throat> okay, so a guy makes it 40, we get one caller, and uh, I make it 140, goes around, just uh, um, just me and him heads up, flop comes like 4-6 jack, I'm first to act, I bet uh, 150, he looks down, asks if I have any more black chips, I don't. I got about 450 left. He shoves. There is two diamonds out there. Same guy I got into it before. Clean run out. And he flips over pocket jacks. Top set again. I mean, what are the odds within four hands? Same two guys. I have kings, he has jacks. And he flops top set within like four hands. I mean, what are the odds of that? The same guy, me versus him, kings both times for me, jacks both times for him, and top set both times for him. I mean, I, I don't know how people do this for a living. I mean, I got a lot of respect for guys that can do it. I just went in there, dropped 1500 bucks, hit a straight flush against the guy's nut flush, and I still don't, and I still lose, you know? It was rough, it was rough. <laughs> I almost got back, I almost, I, I was playing a little bit out of my level for sure, and uh, when I was counting up those chips after hitting that straight flush and doubling up, I think I had, right, maybe a little over starting stack, I was seriously gonna probably bounce. But then I looked down at Kings, and that's when the whole debacle happened. I couldn't play him strong enough. So, man, back to square one. We're in Las Vegas, Nevada. 
where the sand turns to gold. The mirage. <laughs> Everybody's a winner here. The pilots call their lost wages. I know my wallet's thinner. Seafood right here. Yeah. Seems like it's like closed down. Yeah. 